channel, it's a girl city. It's been like a month since I posted my last video, and there's no other way to explain it other than life had been very busy. But during the time that I was out, I was doing a lot of shopping here and there. I recently went to the Forever 21 sale, but it was really overwhelming. Kung pumunta kayo dun sa sale, I know na alam niyo yung tinutukoy ko. It's just stressful to really like find pieces that you like because everyone's like going at it. Long story short, I did not walk away with that much items for me to do a haul, but I still want to make a video out of the things that I got. We are going to be comparing 500 worth of items from Forever 21 and then 500 worth of items from the thrift store. So it's going to be a fast fashion versus thrift store video, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm just putting it out there that it's going to be obvious who wins. But I still want to share with you what items I was able to get with my 500 pesos the thrift store versus the fast fashion brand like Forever 21. It's gonna be a try on style video, so please continue watching. Okay, so I think we should begin with all the things that I got from Forever 21. I know that you guys know that Forever 21 recently filed for bankruptcy in the States, but I read an article that in the Philippines they came as a joint venture with SM, so they will not be going. Away, they will be staying. If you're worried that you're not going to be shopping for Forever 21, if you're a big fan of them, then good news for you. Okay, let's begin with the haul. Dalawa lang yung items na kasha sa 500 peso budget natin today. So yun lang yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. First is the clothing item that I got. So here it is. So this is a mauve corduroy hoodie which is super stretchy and I got this in the size medium. What I like about this is yung fit niya is loose lang. Hindi siya yung ganun ka chunky na hoodies. I already removed the tag pero this was originally around 800 to 900 pesos but I was able to get it for half the price. I got it for 399 pesos. Now on to the last item that I picked up from Forever 21 and I know pag nakita nyo to, you're gonna ask me, Siti, what the heck is that? But I actually really love that it looks weird. I've been doing a lot of trip shopping lately. So I think that I can lessen like yung use ng plastic kapag meron akong ganito. So that's why I picked it up. And there was a time that net bags are really like a thing. It's not anymore, I'm not sure. Pero gusto gusto ko to. And it's yellow. It was originally priced at 735 pesos. How is this? Like, how is this 735 pesos? I'm not sure, pero I was able to get it for 99 pesos. Not complaining at all. Tumako naman tayo sa mga items na nakuha ko from the trip store. And compared to Forever 21, I got a bunch of items from the trip store. Isa-isay natin sila and most of these are trousers. It's really surprising that I was able to get a lot of bottoms from the thrift store kasi hindi ako ganun kaswerte. I don't remember the individual prices anymore kasi medyo matagal na since I got all these things. Pero yung budget ko that time is 500 pesos and I was able to max it out. I only got two tops for this round. First one is this like really basic black tank top. This is perfect for me to layer with my outerwear because you guys know I love them. I love my blazers, my denim jackets, my hoodies. So, pwedeng pwede sila dito. There's not much that I can say about it, but it's really nice basic piece to have. The next top that I got is the one that I was wearing on my last video. If you haven't seen my Tai Tai haul video, I was wearing this one and I really love it. This is a nice lilac velvet shirt. It has this mock neck neckline which is really really flattering in my opinion. I'm a sucker for anything velvet so gusto gusto ko siyang sinusuot. I don't remember the price I got this for pero siguro nasa 35 to 50 pesos lang yun. Let's start with the trousers or the bottoms and the first one that I have is blue joggers at the shop. 
so easy to throw on and you can dress it up dress it down never thought that i'm gonna be picking up something like this because hindi naman ako into active wear next time that i'll be going to thrift store i'll make sure na maghanap pa ng mga joggers like that because i ended up liking it so Perfect. If you've been around for a while and nakita mo yung mga una ko pang ukay ukay um, hauls, mapapansin nyo doon na yung mga hinuhaul kong pants are like really dressy type. Pero, I picked up cargo pants like this. It has pockets here, pockets dito sa likod, sa harap, and then there is a pop of color dito. Kasi yung pockets niya, zipper siya, pero may lining siya ng orange. Neon has been a trend for 2019, but I cannot commit to wearing neon. It's just something that I can't see myself really wearing. Kaya a nice pop of neon dito is a really nice touch for me to still try the neon trend without going baba boom on that trend. This one though is a bit loose on me kasi nawala na yung parang tali niya dito para ma-adjust. So what I did is to just pick up this belt. Small neon detail like a belt would be a really nice touch. And it pairs nicely dito sa um, detail niya sa zipper kasi it's also neon orange. And the best thing about this one is that I got it for 5 pesos. And I can wear this not just with this cargo pants but also with other um, items or other bottoms that I have like jeans or basta may belt loops I can wear it if I'm feeling very neon -y. But I love this cargo pants so much that I got it in another style. Because of thrifting, I became more experimental with my style lately. And as you can see, there is a trend na parang very street style. So it's really nice that I'm experimenting going out of my comfort zone style-wise. And ito naman, hindi siya pang street style, pero it's perfect for work naman. It's from this brand, Yahtzee. I'm not familiar with the brand, but it's really well made. Meron din siyang belt loops. This one is a bit wider than most of my culottes, but it's okay. It reminds me of my school uniform back in the day. If you're from FEU, yung mga mascom students before, nung hindi pa uso yung culottes, hindi pa siya trendy, yun na yung uniform namin. I found culottes really weird back in college, pero when it became a trend, I ended up really loving it. Maraming nagtanong sa akin dun sa last video ko, kung saan ko nakuha yung pants na suot-suot ko dun. You guys seem to like this one a lot, and I can't blame you kasi I also really, really, really like this. And it's difficult for me to find a really nice pair of jeans sa chip store lalo. This one, my sister found it for me and when I tried it on, it's a match made in heaven. So from a light wash, naging dark wash siya dito and raw yung hem. The best thing about it is that it fits. It fits my bum, it fits my wide hips and sakto lang siya sa legs ko na maikli. You can bury me in this and I would not complain. I freaking love it. And the last thing that I picked up from the thrift store is this nice belt. It has this gold chain. It just goes like this. It has this hoop which you can customize your fit style chain naman to. And then it goes to your waist like this. It will instantly make your outfit so much better. I adore all my finds from both Forever 21 and the thrift store. But if you really want to get that bong for your buck, just go to the thrift store. If you want to get items that are good for your buck, you will end up walking away with items that you will be able to use for a really long time. will be able to use for a really long time. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at mycity underscore. Let me know what you think about this video on the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye! One, two, three! Fuck it!